Brian here from quantlabs.net. Uh, just wanted to uh, put together a video um, on this topic versus just typing it all out. It's just uh, faster for me to do this uh, in a video format. Um, last night uh, I had my meetups for the Quant Finance and the RMAT Lab Users Group uh, with about nine people showing. Uh, one person was actually new. Um, who's an active uh, independent trader who has his own platform running. It's quite sounds quite sophisticated. But I uh, started asking him some questions about his experience on, on what he's been challenged with with his own uh, trading platform. Be it that everyone else is building their own trading platform, it's like the in thing to do. But nonetheless, uh, one of the challenges that I'm coming across, and probably at some point other people will come across, is the ability to... Um, uh, work with uh, a time series from your market data provider and at the same time being able to do your uh, analytic uh, whatever type of analysis you're going to do, technical, quant, quant whatever. Uh, it's pretty hard to do all in real time. So everything came down to a nutshell of event processing, uh, a very complicated uh, topic. Um, things this, this, this topic has really not been um, addressed in older trading platforms. Um, now, what I'm about to show you are just a variety of different options. Um, my proposed trading platform is done in C++. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and argue about why I'm not doing it in Java or C Sharp. I've got lots of um, backup postings on that to show why. Um, as well as um, there is a very good uh, complex event processing uh, platform, if you want to call it an API or framework uh, in Java. I'm just going to pull it up here. It's called Esper. Um, and this is what we're going to be talking about is um, this is how a lot of the .NET, um, sorry, the the um, the uh, more, I'll call it modern uh, high frequency trading platforms are going this way with, with uh, uh, CEP. Uh, right here, complex event processing. Um, but the thing is with Esper, it does not support C++. So obviously that's that's a very big uh, concern. Now, um, I'm going to take you, this is for Java and C Sharp, okay? And it's open source, um, so it's a good al uh, alternative for people that may want to look into it. Um, <clears throat> now, if you're going into the commercial side or even C++, there is something called Streambase. Um, but uh, the, the, some of the takeaways you should have with this. Now, I, I know about Streambase from a number of sources. I work with uh, some people have designed exchanges or we've talked about how to do real-time data analysis. Um, and quite a few of them have come back and always said, well, we use uh, or you should look at Streambase. So this is Streambase here. Now, this is obviously a commercial product. Um, this is the standard. Um, this is... Uh, November 20th, 2012, but you can see the number of um, security companies or uh, that 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 are using this product for their their price action um, and pricing engine. Uh, you got GE Securities, you got Streambase, which has been featured in Wall Street, um, Betfair, uh, and uh, I know RBC. Uh, is, is Capital Marks is using it as well as uh, Gain Capital for Forex and actually the CME I think is using it as well but you can easily find um, the uh, different clients that they have so this is now quickly becoming a new um, standard uh, this article is something that people should be aware of uh, this will um, fortunately I guess I can't uh, highlight it but this this article in the Wall Street Journal basically says that due to the night uh, debacle where they had the fat finger and almost bankrupted uh, night capital uh, back in August of 2012 um, they have uh, brought in this type of technology because you know you can kind of pretty well build uh, uh, risk management in, in this as well um, that they're using this as a safeguard into their trading platforms um, and that's kind of one of the use cases for it as well there's a variety of others but um, I'm just highlighting getting this for you uh, as this is a very very important part of uh, when you're piecing together uh, any type of any type of trading platform high frequency doesn't matter but this is something that needs to be considered all right so again this can be easily integrated with C++ um, but again it's commercial 
Um, it, it seems to be more pushing uh, Java. Well, that's fine. Um, but again, I'm not here to argue Java, C sharp, or C plus plus, or whatever. But I've been on the hunt for a good C plus uh, plus uh, complex event processing library, um, and I found one. Um, uh, which pretty well is the only one that I've seen that's worthwhile uh, talking about. Um, this one is called uh, Triceps. Uh, it's version one. I, for me right now, it's unproven. But uh, if you start reading this, which can be found on the uh, sound SourceForge.net uh, uh, site, uh, the nice thing about this 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 library is it's open source. It's all done in C++. Um, but the, the the really powerful thing that I'm impressed with so far, again, I haven't played with it. There's nothing final I'm going to use, no different than if I'm going to use Fast Flow. I'm just highlighting it as an option. Um, but uh, this this author by the name of, uh, I believe his name is Sergey, um, who worked um, right here uh, at uh, these CPEP engines, uh, Correlate, uh, I guess it's Altari. Um, which got bought out by Sybase, um, and he also worked at uh, Streambase as well. And I can verify what he's saying is that the really the only true um, CEP commercial uh, options out there for any uh, large uh, operations is either Streambase or using something like Sybase because Sybase is so heavily embedded in a lot of the banks and even the hedge funds. So obviously Sybase has got their own CEP. Um, options and they're, they they all stem from the Sultari and Coral 8. <clears throat> so this this guy this this library brings in a lot of credibility um, because he seems to know that the back end of the technology the the under the hood technology um, and this is just the developer's guide. Um, you, you can see how uh, extensive this thing is. It's huge. It's just massive. I've also verified that it does contain a lot of the features uh, that you'll find in Streambase. So if I go to Streambase and you look under products, you'll find Live View, CEP, um, and then also the different uh, adapters. Um, this this package seems to, to 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 basically combine all those different packages. If I go into the uh, table of contents, um, you know he's he's doing SQL like. Um, uh, calls from your data. Uh, also, he's got some scheduling built in. He's got uh, optimizing some memory management. He's also using templates, aggregating the data, doing joins. So, uh, how to optimize your time processing? Um, the the only caveat that I see thus far, it's only been built for two languages. Obviously, it's written in C plus um, plus, and. Uh, so there is an API built into the, the, the C++, but he's saying that it's quite complex and there's no working examples to work off of for that. So what he's done is he built one in Perl, um, and this whole guide is done in Perl. Um, so it's, it's going to be kind of hard to implement Perl into my own solution. So obviously knowing me, I am uh, highly uh, interested in only working on a C++. So that's the route I'm going to go and, and trying it out with this triceps to see what happens. Um, so I just wanted to let people know about this project. Um, it seems somewhat similar to Streambase and it's actually written by one of the uh, developers, I don't know what level, uh, uh, from both Streambase and Sybase. So uh, I gotta say good kudos to this guy who really put this uh, package together. Um, it's a lot of work. You can tell his he's been very meticulous on on what he's documented here and how it's done. Uh, just alone on that, it's worth um, looking at. And the other thing is with his examples, uh, you will find that his working examples involve trading examples. So there's specific to trading, trading data, um, and uh, this is kind of cool to work with. Um, so that's that. Now even if I went with the Redis option, what I want to also uh, emphasize is with Redis, we've looked at Redis, um, there is a Perl client um, which is really good because now if I want to advance it further with Perl I can use something called, I guess call it Predis for um, you know embedding it with Redis. Um, so there are some really neat options that are coming out of this. Um, 
uh, I would highly recommend you to uh, read this guide, uh, understand what this triceps does, and consider this as an option. Um, one of the, the, the uh, um, problems I'm seeing is a lot of these training platforms are um, the strategies are being hand-coded in the native language of the training platform, which obviously is going to be very painful for people as they develop and test their strategies, um, which might not even work. So they might go down a, a road and waste their time, as opposed to this type of tool and, and framework to work with might be able to um, rapidly uh, expedite that, that process. So uh, it's something worth looking at. Um, I'm going to may, may report back on what I think of it. Um, and I'm, I'm, as I said, I may actually use it. So I'm going to do some heavy research and play with this um, and see where it goes. All right. Uh, hope that'll help you out. Talk to you later.